If you're using consistent classifications in your project, then your information can be read out and processed automatically. In order to be able to carry out this classification in a simple and structured way, we have developed the Linear Classification Manager. With the help of this tool, you have the possibility to structure model content based on different aspects and to easily implement consistent project standards. The Classification Manager can be found in the Linear Ribbon Interoperability area. After starting the Classification Manager, you will see all components displayed in the view along with the classification that Revit assumes for these elements. Using the example of the convector, you can already see that this classification is not ideal, as this would be classified as IFC billing element proxy. We now want to correct this and make an exact classification. To do this, we select the IFC scheme IFC 4.1 and click on this button with the three dots. The selection has already been specified here by Linear to give you a suggestion for the classification. If we set the category to All, you will see the entire scheme according to IFC 4.1. You can either navigate within this tree view to the desired classification, or you use the integrated search function. I use the search function and automatically end up with the appropriate value. In this case, IFC space heater type convector. I confirm with OK and the classification has been mapped. However, depending on the size of your project, a complete classification of all components can take a long time this way. Therefore, we integrated a suggestion function, which makes reasonable suggestions from the selected scheme based on your network calculation. By pressing the button, all components are mapped according to their entry in the calculation. You can optionally protect assignments that have already been made manually from being overwritten. This mapping is already quite good in the majority of cases. Of course, you can now still make manual adjustments and thus optimize the classification. All assigned classes are then also outputted in the IFC export and displayed in all common collaboration tools. Let's have a look at BIM Collab Zoom. As you can see, the predefined classifications were also adopted here. In addition to the already supplied schemes according to IFC 4.1 and IFC 2x3, you can also store further standards or use your own classifications and use them in the selection. But that's not all the classification manager can do. In addition to classification according to IFC and your own standards, classification according to cost groups are also possible. Currently, we already provide the cost groups for Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. This works in the same way as classification according to IFC. You select the cost group and use the suggestion button. The program now automatically assigns suitable cost groups to the components, which you can then check and optimize. In the tooltip, we can already see the current classification as well as a component preview. These classifications can then be easily exported and used for your further cost calculations. The program also checks the logic of the assigned values. For example, if we switch to the Swiss cost group, the program will give us a hint that the classification is incorrect. Another press on the button fixes this immediately and the assignment is correct again. A very powerful tool that enables classification according to a wide variety of standards and makes your BIM workflow much easier. Linear workflow instead of workaround.